we are off to the beach. That looks like a picture of a bomb. Danger of quicksand. <laughs> in Belgium, so of course it had to get waffles. It is eight minutes past seven. Check-in closes at ten minutes past seven, and we are still nine minutes away. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Myron. We live full-time in our South-built camper van, and we travel all over Europe. In today's video, we relax at a Belgian beach and explore Bruges with our friends April and Shane from Adventures in a Camper. Good morning, we're back in this car park. You can see the van back there. And we are off to the beach. For lunch I'm having lasagna and Hannah's having a vegetarian panini. Yeah. So we had to read this warning sign because that looks like a picture of a bomb. And sure enough, please do not go near the excavation works explosion area. I can't see where that is though. So I hope we're not on it. And it also says to please stay on the dry part of the beach. Danger of quicksand. So we decided it's not quite warm enough to go for a swim, but we've been chilling out on the beach for a couple of hours now. It's been so nice just lying in the sun in our swimsuits, even though we're not going swimming. And Myron's been making a sandcastle? What is it? A, what is it? Tunnel. a tunnel. <laughs> it's the bridge across the top here. It's nice and stable. Yeah. Through the bottom, it goes the whole way through. <laughs> I wonder if it'll hold my weight. <laughs> Myron's gonna go feel the water. We just noticed the tide has moved way in. We were ages from the water before. Just out of nowhere it's moved in. I reckon it's pretty cold. Is it cold? Not quite as cold as when I last swam in the sea. But that was like an arctic circle. <laughs> A bit warmer than that, but it's still, it'll be cold to put your whole body in. We just parked up our park up spot for the night. It's not very glamorous, but we're just outside of Bruges and then we're going to be going there tomorrow, so this will do for tonight. The next day, we head into Bruges to meet up with April and Shane. just wanted fries but ended up spending loads on lunch. If you're ever in Bruges I'd avoid the sit-down restaurants and just look for the fries and waffle shops. So we're in Belgium so of course we had to get waffles. Mm, they smell so good. I got one with caramel and Myron got Nutella and banana. They were really cheap as well. I think mine was three euros and Myron's was 450 which is pretty good considering we just spent 50 euros on lunch. Uh, probably shouldn't have spent so much. This is a nice cheap snack. Just trying to cut a couple of squares off. Voila. I'm not good at like walking or standing and eating. I need to like sit and like not have my hair flying in my face. That is so good. That caramel. That waffle, that's amazing. Yum. Put the camera away so you can eat yours. Yeah. <laughs> Got a grey water drain underneath the van and then there's a toilet emptying thing and water as well. 
and I gotta empty the toilet, but I'm not gonna show you guys that. <laughs> okay, so toilet is emptied. Haven't filled up with water because I don't think we're gonna need it and it costs. Rubbish is dumped and we've tidied up the van because we had all that shower stuff everywhere. And the last time we went over on the ferry, the French border control was like quite intense. They were checking like every cupboard and under the bed. So we're all tidy for them. Got a washing there that can't fit under the bed because we have so much washing. <laughs> Look at that donkey, he's huge this one here, he's like a horse. <laughs> Two cute little goats. Hey, yeah. Uh. <laughs> you can't eat it, it's a camera. Hey boy, he's huge. Good. The guys checking the vehicles after you go through passport control. They were busy. Yeah, they were busy checking the car in front, so we just got the drive straight through. I think you've gone the wrong way, Myron. No. There's no green Can lines. You, what's the number? Um, 119. But yeah, the British Border Control was very strict. It was like weird. Asked if we and doing, really checked your ID. Yeah, it was, and like made me take my glasses off. And I know it's Border Control, but come on, like it's very ridiculous. <laughs> Looks like the camper van line is moving now. We finally made it onto the boat, but the dramas didn't end there. We ended up spending over an hour in border control when we got back to the UK. It was ridiculous. Question after question about where we'd been and what we were doing. They wanted photos and addresses of everywhere we had camped, but we finally made it back into the UK. We had an amazing summer in Europe, but we're excited to be back in the UK for an awesome project. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.